Hello guys. This is um an or an art an uh, uh, Oh, Jennifer, get your words together, honey. Hello. Let's start over. This is an unorthodox video. Um, not one that I was expecting to do, but I kind of wanted to share with you guys my wedding stuff as I went along and to kind of share some tips with you guys as I come across them. So last night, um, someone in our apartment building moved out and they moved all of their stuff downstairs by the trash. I did not go dumpster diving, but they just so happened to have all of their stuff laid out neatly for if anyone wanted to take them because they were nice items. I took two glass picture frames and y'all it was a come up like I'm very happy that I took them. <clears throat> so one of my glass picture frames is going to be absolutely free signage for my wedding. It's going to say it's my burning candle signage. So um it will say on the signage absolutely free this candle burns in loving memory of those who are forever present in our hearts um i stole that from somebody else's wedding but it's my wedding so i you know i need i need a candle to burn for people who are forever present in our hearts as well um but it was free so um, I'm just coming in here to give you guys a quick note. If you see something free and you see the potential for it, take it. Because your man will be like, don't go get those people trash. That's what Joe told me. He's like, don't take anybody else's trash. What's wrong with you? Blah, blah, blah. Honey, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it for what I need to use it for. Because at the end of the day, they're not missing it. They put it in the trash for a reason. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how big these frames are because it was quite a steal to to have to buy these in a regular store it would probably cost like 30 20 bucks and we saved because it was absolutely free so let me show you so this is the sign that will say um the candle burns for those who are forever present in our heart um this is exactly what it looks like i mean i think it has a little water damage right here from the person who previously owned it but you won't be able to see that um not really i mean it's it's free so i really don't care about that but look at my hand compared to the actual you see like look at my hand in comparison that would have been a lot of money if we would have just went to the store to buy signage outright and then still have to spray paint it and get it to look pretty and all that jazz we literally saved that was a huge bargain and now don't pay attention to any of this stuff in the background these are my i'm gonna walk y'all through how i do those but um do you see how big the sign is this is the little one right here see that and look at my hand y'all and then this is the gigantic one right here so um, these frames were free 99 I did not pay a dime and um, I have signage for my wedding that's gonna be really cute the only thing is I don't know what I'm gonna do with this sign um, I might use it as our welcome sign because it is really big um, so I think that's what I'm gonna end up using it for we shall see bye okay I wanted to give y'all another visual so I'm gonna show y'all you see how big they are they're really big signs. Look at my foot in comparison. These signs are huge and they were absolutely free. So if you see something and you see potential for it, take it regardless of what your man says. He will be happy later when you've saved him $50 in wedding signage. Um, for this one, this one won't be absolutely free because I, um, I do have to get cardboard paper and um write and paint everything out on it but in terms of having to pay for the frame that would have been about 30 bucks i'm literally only paying for the paper which is probably going to run me about five so i turned a 30 dollar expense into a five dollar expense just by um, keeping my eyes open and um properly recycling and now that is officially all Peace out. 
All right, well, since I have already started talking to you guys, I'm gonna share with you guys my entire DIY list, which it is actually wrong because those signs were not included in my DIY list. Um, oh yeah, it was. The welcome sign is included in my DIY list, and my budget for my welcome sign was $30, so now I'm only gonna have to spend $5 on my welcome sign which is absolutely awesome. The burning candle signage was not, so that's a bonus that that was absolutely free. I don't have to pay for anything. I can literally use cardstock paper that I already have, because I have some on hand, and I can write out my signage for that and be done. Once it dries, pack it up, bubble wrap it, and send it off to North Carolina. So I'm gonna share with you guys my list, go over it, and um, hopefully this helps any other brides that are planning on doing a lot of their DIY stuff on their own. Um, this video was not planned, y'all, so I don't know where it's gonna go, but we shall see. All right, so this is in my bridal book um, right here. You guys can see I got, you know, all these, all these pages already filled up and I still have 12 months to go and not all my vendors are in here but okay let's go over my DIY list because that's what this video is about um, we have the bridal party packets um, which are basically going to be envelopes that I've done I've got some stickers um, rose gold stickers um, for the men and the women I got my folders from Target if you go to Target and you wait until like right before school starts, Target normally has a really good school sale. Okay, sorry, I um went to go get everything to show you. But yes, if you wait before school starts a little bit, Target has a really good back to school sale and their folders are like 50 cents each. So I'm going to show you guys the folders. Um, this is for our best man. It's just a regular plain folder with the insert right here so that's where the packet is going to be and I just did the packet online I'm going to print it out on some nice burgundy paper and then these are the wedding colors right here so they'll, they'll just have those and these were free I got these um color well I had to buy rose gold um cardstock just a sheet from Michael's which was about 69 cents and then um, the rest of these colors I got for free from Lowe's. I just went to their paint section and I took some and I cut them out with little circles with my little circle hole punch. And I didn't even pay for the little circle hole punch because I had it ahead of time. So if you don't want to pay, I say just cut it into squares or, you know, something like that. So then you don't even have to buy a circle hole punch um, if it matters to you. And then um, these stickers I got from Michaels, they were about $5.99. Um, so make sure you use your 20% off discount and then you will have a really nice folder for your bridal party. So that's what I did for that. Um, and the budget for that is $100 and I have yet to reach $100. Um, on this bridal party packet these were 50 cents each the folders and then the stickers were about $2.99 um, and I went to Hobby Lobby as well because Hobby Lobby had the really pretty rose gold letters for the ladies so these are the rose gold stickers I use for the ladies you can get these at Hobby Lobby 50% off and you can get um, these ones at Michael's 50% off so there you go um, guest book. Our guest book is going to be um, vinyl records. So what I did with that is I um, took some of Joe's records and spray painted them rose gold. We already had the rose, no, we bought the rose gold spray paint for that. Um, so those, the guest book is kind of almost done. The only thing is we need to get a sticker to put in the middle that says Piper guest book or something like that. Um, card box is already done. We got our card box from um, we got our card box from IKEA. It's the IKEA garden um, kit, and we literally just spray painted that rose gold. And I used my pretty stickers 
um, like this and I just spelled out cards with the stickers and the card box is done. Advice bottle and date night bottle um, are these guys over here. This is going to be our advice jar and this is going to be our date night jar and I'm literally going to just cut up some paper leading up to that day, get a couple of stickers and kind of roll them up like messages in a bottle. And um, the only thing that I still have left to do, because these are absolutely free. Well, they're not free. I drunk all of the wine out of them, but it was Carlo Rossi um, wine because they make really cute bottles and their, their heads are really big. So if you see that, their, their mouth is a lot bigger than a regular bottle. So the only thing I have left to do for the day of the wedding is to actually um, write down right here exactly what it is date night and advice so that's that and i spray painted the lids rose gold um all of those back there are for a completely different project which i will tell you guys about later i've just been collecting all of the wine that i drink and it looks like a lot but y'all i've been collecting since january and it's august so that's why it looks like a lot of wine but yeah so we're at the giant jenga um, I saw a YouTube video on how to do Giant Jenga with just two by fours, so you guys can wait out for that video. That will be coming soon. Um, save the dates. I'm just going to design those on Canva's website and get this printed out and mailed off. Um, there, there's not going to be much to it. It's probably just going to be burgundy cardstock um, with rose gold lettering, which um hopefully i have my cricket by then so i'll i'll do the save the dates with my cricket and um i won't have to worry about doing anything but purchasing the card stock for that and getting it printed out um welcome sign um like i said i'm going to use that giant free thing that i got so instead of um spending thirty dollars on the frame I'm just going to go on ahead and spend about $5 on the card stock so I can actually put my actual totals right here. Um, bridesmaids favors, those are going to be um, like a little bit of, I don't know, I don't know what I decided my bridesmaids favors were going to be. I think I'm going to make them robes um, as my bridesmaids favors, groomsmen favors, Joe is buying all of his groomsmen sneakers. So that is definitely not going to be the total. That's probably going to be the total for one pair. So I'll have the actual price of how much money um, we spend on um, DIY sneakers. We have the guest favors, which are going to be um, LED. I meant which are going to be uh, the guest favors are, is going to be a photo booth, but I have to buy the balloons that say um, favors over top of the photo booth. So that's going to probably run me um about 50 bucks but i over i overcompensated for that it won't be 150 dollars um so that one that extra 100 dollars can go down here to the invitations <laughs> because i feel like we're gonna spend the bulk of our money on invitations that's gonna be in a video by itself um completely seating chart i will share that with you guys a little later on once we figure out you see when it's due that's when i'm supposed to start it so i have all of my start dates and i'm pretty ahead of myself because um the due date for all of this stuff is in like 2018 and i'll be done with most of it by 2017 so the advice bottle i'll be done with soon the date night i'll be done with soon um the guest book i'll be done with soon the bridal party packets i will be done with soon um, so all of this stuff is about to get checked off. The Jenga I want to get started on so I can um, get that video to you guys. And um, the guest gifts, the guest gift bags. So the gift bags are going to be what your guests, when they sit down at your wedding, what it is that is inside of there. Um, and we're saying that that's going to be about $150 which may run a little bit over because we have 140 guests so it's impossible to to only assign it with um one with a dollar 20 or something like a dollar something per guest that's not um reasonable or rational because we want to get 
it just won't it won't work that's about how much it'll cost to get the bags themselves um flower girl favors um are gonna be Build-A-Bears that I'm gonna give each of them a $50 gift card to go create their own Build-A-Bear. Officiants, um, it's gonna be my sister and my brother. Um, so I'm going to give them a $100 gift card to the Cheesecake Factory so that they can go out and have a good night on us, have a nice little date night. And then um, the flowers, which is probably going to be the biggest DIY. We're going to spend all day doing these flowers. Um, I'm going to order them on in, um, I, I believe this is July. I'm going to order them in July, but they're going to get to us um, a little bit like right before the wedding so they don't die on us. And then uh, we're going to spend the night before DIYing all of the flowers for the wedding. So you know I'm going to vlog that because it's going to be crazy. Um, but that's pretty much my DIY list. This is the only thing that I did not have on there. So I may just print this out and put it up there so it looks neat like the rest of them, you know. I'm a little bit OCD like that. But apart from that, um, that's everything. This is for my catering questions, which I will prep you guys on when I get to that date. But this is my bridal book and this is the month of September so um don't really have that much going on uh this month really we don't we're going to Vegas on the 22nd we'll be there until Wednesday but apart from that that's my day right here we have Corvello and Monica's wedding so yeah, this is my calendar, what it is that I do, all of my important dates and things that I got going on. Um, and this is my checkbook. So by the end of October, I should have all of these things checked off, which I am on the right track. So nothing is really stressing me out. The only thing that may not happen is our engagement getaway. Um, in the month of October, we may push that down to a later date because um, we do have weddings and things like that that we're going to in October. So, um, we might not be able to get to that now, but we'll get to it eventually if, like, San Diego is a must since we live in California. It's like, we can't live in California and not go to San Diego. Um, so that might be a New Year's trip. If anything, that'll just move, boop, right down here. But that's my book, guys. I can't wait to, like, share all of my book with you guys, but... <laughs> Okay, be blessed, stay stress-free. I hope that this video helped. Um, I know it was a little bit random and all over the place, and I will later on try to do a neater version of this where I actually, you know, sit down properly and talk to you guys like I did with the, um, with the wedding registry video. I'll do it the exact same way, like just include footage throughout. Um, and now that I know that that's my shooting style, I'll have better quality footage to show you guys as I'm talking. So expect that, but you can't, you won't really be expecting that until I want to say into the new year once I have a couple of more things already sorted out and I really have all of my ducks in a row. But I was just so excited doing this wedding stuff. I did that, um, I did those frames this morning and washed them and cleaned them and stuff. So I figured. Let me share this with my YouTubers because I'm having a good time right now planning my wedding. So I decided to just share that. But another video will come out later with all of the, you know, the details. But um, until then, be blessed, stay stress-free. Tell me in the comments what you guys want to see. Like if I'm sharing things and you're like, wait, go into deeper detail about that, then I will certainly do so. Um, so tell me what you guys want to see in that DIY video and I will literally show you guys everything. You guys know what to expect. So say if you want to see something a little bit more in detail or a completely separate video. Like I know I'm doing a separate video for the invitations. I'm doing a separate video for my Jenga and I'm doing a separate video for my flowers. Um, but apart from that, if you want to see anything else in detail or have any questions, just leave them down below. I'm very approachable. You can talk to me. Um, so be blessed. Stay stress-free. I said that about three times trying to end this video, but y'all know how I get and I talk a little bit too much. Um, 
but that's it happy happy days oh and I just wanted to say y'all I have been struggling with my laptop and if Joe was here he could attest to that my laptop literally shuts off on me for no reason like it will die and I will have no clue why I'll, I'll be working on it and it'll just shut off so um, it's fairly old my dad got it for me when I just started to go to college so it's like from 2010 um, or 2011 I don't know it was a Christmas gift for me going into college but um, yeah the laptop is really old and that's why my videos have not been consistent because that um, that that vlog about supporting local businesses or black owned businesses that video was supposed to go up last Thursday and it literally took days for me to get my laptop to cooperate so it's not that I don't want to put my videos up but it's that my laptop is not cooperating and if I go to the if I go to the library it'll take eight hours for it to get to 10 percent so it's like I'm kind of stuck we won't be getting a new computer until around Christmas time so kind of have to bear with me until then um, I'm gonna try and get this video up as soon as possible but there's really no telling with my computer when that'll be um, so be blessed stay stress-free again 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 I said that about 15 times now um, all right y'all